that's I'm gonna have to take this out because it's a little sh little short for yeah, me if that's okay. Putting that go. on my jeans. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Lewis. Uh, I'm the executive director of the Bell's Corners Business Improvement Area. As Guy said, I guess sometimes I get caught straddling a very fine line between uh, the Liberals and the Conservatives, but it's not for lack of being a Conservative. I am what I like to call a unapologetic Conservative. I'm not going to say I'm sorry when they tell me that I should be ashamed of myself for standing up against things that they're doing. I know each and every single one of you, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to vote because I think you all have a good head on your shoulders. I'm going to take a little stab in the dark here. I might, be, <laughs> I might be wrong. That being said, I can say firsthand, I represent 330 businesses and property owners in the city of Ottawa. We've seen issues come across our table that, are, that do nothing but add red tape, constant red tape to our businesses. Businesses in Ontario, the government is not creating an environment right now that, uh, that, that in any shape, way, or form, encourages business de growth, business development. What they're creating right now is an environment where it's making it more friendly to bring jobs to neighboring provinces, neighboring states. Uh, you know, we have so many issues when it comes to uh, our trades right now. Uh, I know Tim Hudak has made a commitment to cancel the College of Trades. That's something that, absolutely. That's something that I can stand behind. That's something that my members can stand behind. We are in favor of creating an environment in Ontario that is going to encourage business growth. We are very, very fortunate in Bell's Corners, I may add on top of that, to have Lisa McLeod as our representative, our provincial representative. She fights tirelessly for the businesses of my area, the businesses of Barhaven, and frankly, for the businesses of every single business in Ontario. We've hit hydro rates. Our hydro rates going up 42% over the next five years. That is unsustainable in this province. We cannot continue down this road. And I know that each and every single one of you are going to support our local bricks and mortar businesses because they are the backbone. They represent 97%. Small and medium sized enterprises in Ontario represent 97% of employment. So I ask you, when you start putting red tape in on those same, uh, those same businesses, how do you expect to create any jobs in this province? It's not going to happen. So what I want each and every single one of you to do is use those bright heads of yours, go out and vote, and you know what party to vote for, you, knew, you know who to vote for, and don't waste it. Take this opportunity to get rid of the corruption, to get rid of the red tape on behalf of the small businesses who support you and that you support. Thank you and have a great day.